if you can't go to sleep or if you wake up and you can't go back to sleep, I'm going to share a bit of a crazy strategy to fix this for you. This is something I do for myself. And the reason that this works is because we have a lot of like performance anxiety around sleep. We just have a lot of anxiety about sleep these days in our society because we know how good it is for us. And that's a blessing and a curse. So knowing how good sleep is for us makes us, you know, prioritize it more. But at the same time, we've developed all of these massive anxieties about sleep. We think like, oh my gosh, if I don't sleep, I'm going to be so unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. So when that happens, it's actually really hard for us to get to sleep because we're so worried about getting to sleep. And so what we want to do actually when we can't sleep is to tell ourselves, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like, I don't even care if I sleep. Like, screw this. Who cares if sleep's co- sleep comes? Like I'm, like, I'm strong enough to not have that much sleep the next day. It will be okay. I've survived every other day where I haven't slept and whatever. Like, so it's essentially like being like hard to get with sleep. You don't want to want it too much because otherwise it won't come. And doing this strategy where you essentially kind of tell yourself like you don't really care if you sleep actually promotes sleep the most. It's a very kind of paradoxical intention strategy targeted at sleep. So try this tonight. Let me know if it works for you. Um, I think the only issue is that some people might not be able to really like believe that they don't care. Um, I'm someone that gets like really frustrated easily. So like, I'm just like, you know what? Screw you sleep. I don't care if you come or not. Um, so it can be useful to kind of use like that frustration or anger even toward directed towards sleep to kind of trick yourself into, um, realizing that like, you know, you really don't care if you sleep or not, right? Cause you've survived every other day you haven't slept and you've survived it somehow and it's okay. And you'll survive the next one. So it's a very strange way to think about sleep, but hopefully this will help some people tonight when they're trying to get to sleep.